Hello everybody and welcome to the Thursday edition of Video Clips and this is the last Video Clips broadcast for 2013. Last time I'll speak to you before next year. I'm going to take a couple weeks off as much as I love doing this. It is sort of a welcome break from the routine and um, I'll be back the second week in January to tell you more good stuff. So I want to talk about two studies I think are really, really interesting to me for a variety of reasons. One of which shows that there's a relationship between physical activity and preventing depression. Now there are lots of studies I've read over the years that show that symptoms of depression can get better with exercise. It's the first one that I've seen that's drawn a connection between exercising and not becoming depressed. It was a meta-analysis that looked at 30 different studies, 25 of which showed that um, there was a direct connection between exercise and reducing the risk. And this held true even for people who were at the lower end of the activity scale. So um, when people who exercise 150 minutes or less per week still did better in terms of reducing their risk than their sedentary counterparts. Um, people who exercise more than 30 minutes daily had a 48% reduction in the risk of depression. Now, what I thought was really interesting about this is I sometimes read medical blogs. I like to just see what everybody's saying out there. And people are saying, well, my gosh, this study is a great study. So what we need to do is we, start, we need to start identifying people at high risk of depression and getting them to exercise. Uh, my suggestion is a little bit different. I think we should be talking to everybody about dietary excellence and exercise because everybody will benefit by taking care of themselves. Um, why are we restricting this suggestion to people who we think might become depressed? Let's get everybody doing it. And of course, I specifically wanted to talk about this in December because a lot of people uh, slack off on exercise around holiday time. It's when you want to be more diligent than ever. And it helps you get through the holidays with a positive attitude and without gaining weight. And by the way, if you're not exercising, December's a great time to start. Don't sit there and watch this and say, well, after the first of the year, I'll get busy. How about getting busy right now? I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. When you find good information, you act on it right now, today, December 18th, get to the gym. All right, the other thing I want to talk about while we're on the subject of uh, healthy lifestyles, is according to a recent study, there is no such thing as being overweight and healthy at the same time. Now, I've had health professionals tell me, and I've read articles written by health professionals that insist that people who don't have markers for disease, like high cholesterol or high blood pressure, but carry a lot of extra weight, really aren't at real high risk of anything going wrong. Well, this meta-analysis shows otherwise. It involves 60,000 people, and what the researchers looked at was all-cause mortality, cardiovascular events, and clinical characteristics of six patient groups who were categorized by BMI and metabolic status. Metabolic status was defined as having one or more markers um, for metabolic syndrome or not having those markers. So the control group was made up of normal weight people who were metabolically healthy. And the researchers reported, and this is the important thing, obese people who were considered metabolically healthy at the time they were measured had increased risk for all-cause mortality and or cardiovascular events as compared to normal weight and metabolically healthy individuals when the studies that involved 10 years of follow-up or more were taken into consideration. In other words, some people get away with being overweight for a period of time, but eventually it catches up with them. This is very important because we have members here who carry a lot of extra weight but insist to me that they're eating well, my gosh, whatever that means, that's kind of a subjective term, and they say, well, I don't have any markers for disease, my blood pressure is normal, my cholesterol is low, so I'm really not at risk due to my healthier habits. Well, I disagree with this, and one of the reasons is weight is a measurement of compliance for most people. Now, we'll set aside the people who have hypothyroidism or something of that nature, but the reality is, in the absence of something like that, a person who's eating a whole foods, low-fat, plant-based diet, like the one we recommend here, is going to lose two to three pounds a week until they reach their ideal weight, and they're going to stay there. If that isn't happening, they're not compliant. So they've adopted habits like eating animal foods and processed foods and too much fat and all that sort of thing. So hopefully, I guess my goal here is twofold. I wake up call for overweight people. This isn't to make you feel bad, it's to make you get to taking care of yourself the way that you should. And the second thing is again, you know, this message is going out a week before the holiday starts and 
Uh, there's a tendency to say, oh, well, in 2014, I'm going to wake up on New Year's Day and do better. How about waking up tomorrow morning and doing better? How about the next meal you eat after you watch this doing better? Um, I said before, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Act on good information when you get it, including this. So my wish for all of you for the holiday is that you um, adopt, if you haven't already, or maintain, if you already have, excellent habits so that you can enjoy life. Enjoying life is not being overweight and sick and indulging in all kinds of stuff you're not supposed to eat and drink while you're overweight and sick. Enjoying life is being happy, healthy, vibrant, disease-free, able to live life until you die. That's, that's what my definition, definition is. And I wish that for all of you, not only now, but for the years to come. Have a wonderful holiday season. I will be back to you in January. As usual, pass these on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching them, and I will talk to you next year.